Exploring the Green. Learn English through national parks and reserves. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our series on conversational English. Today, we're stepping outside and taking a deep breath of fresh air as we focus on national parks and reserves. These places are not only stunning, but they also offer an abundance of vocabulary for us to learn and explore. So grab your hiking boots, we're going on an adventure. National parks and reserves are designated areas that are protected due to their natural, cultural, and historical significance. They are managed for the purpose of preserving biodiversity, endangered species, ecosystems, and cultural heritage. They also provide recreational opportunities for us to connect with nature. When describing these places, we often use words such as unspoiled, pristine, lush, and diverse. National parks and reserves can be enchanting, tranquil, or even dramatic, depending on their features. There is a multitude of landscapes found within national parks and reserves. Let's learn some common terms related to these natural landscapes. 1. Forests. Densely wooded areas, often teeming with wildlife. They can be described as verdant, dense, or canopied. 2. Mountains. High, rugged landforms that rise sharply above the surrounding land. They are often described as towering, majestic, or snow-capped. 3. Deserts. Arid regions with sparse vegetation. Deserts can be scorching, vast, and surprisingly beautiful. 4. Wetlands. Areas where water covers the soil. They can be marshy, lush, and full of biodiversity. When sharing our experiences about visiting national parks or reserves, we use different phrases and words to express our emotions and impressions. 1. Admiring the scenery. The panoramic views were breathtaking. 2. Experiencing the wild. We encountered diverse wildlife in their natural habitat. 3. Feeling the atmosphere. The serenity of the place was captivating. Remember, the key to effective description is to include sensory details. What did you see, hear, smell, touch, or feel? Well, that's all for today's adventure. I hope you've enjoyed our exploration of national parks and reserves and picked up some new words and phrases along the way. In our next lesson, we'll continue to discover more about describing natural places. Until then, keep practicing, and don't forget to get out there and appreciate the incredible natural beauty around you.